Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. Am I bullish? Do I believe in Bitcoin still? Short TA update video for this morning in Europe. I'm making it in the evening in Mexico. Let's quickly jump into the charts because I have some amazing charts to show with you. Bam. <music> Share with you, of course. This is the first one. This is the weekly chart. A lot of direct messages receiving. Um, Didi, are we in the bear market? Are we going to crash to zero? Blah blah blah. All that stuff. Once more, I'm going to show you one more time. I will uh, put out the volume over there, so it's a little bit more clear. We had a low. We had a high. We created a higher low over here. Then we created a higher high. It's a little bit higher. The high was at uh, 60k and now 70, 67k. We created a higher low. Now we need to create a higher high again. That is now the question. Are we going to create a higher high? We are now here, this white dotted line, this candle closed on the weekly chart. And this new candle over there, you can't see it really well, is the green one. That one just opened. Are we going to have support at that 41k level with the weekly chart? And are we going to move slowly up again to the new high high? So will we get something like this? Up, down, up, like high, and then down again. That's possible. And then we create a new higher high over there. And maybe then again a new higher low over there. That is what one of the possibilities is. Yes, of course, it is also possible that we break this low and then we will come down, we will retest it again, and then we will go down to that level. And if we break that level, we can even fall further down in 30K. I am still bullish, so as long as we have support, this is good. The thing that does worry me is here. This NVD, going from red into gray is not positive. This has never been positive and it still isn't positive because I can show you what happened the last time it happened. Here we went from red to gray. We dropped all the way from 58k to the bottom over there at 28k. That's almost 50% drop when the red went to gray. Now again, red is going to gray. Will we drop again from now 47, 50%? That would be all the way to 23, sorry. <laughs> so that's a long drop. I don't believe that this is going to happen. But this signal has not many times been wrong. Every time when here, for example, red goes to gray, we had, I will calculate the percentage so you can see, red going to gray a drop of 30 percent so that's a huge drop all the way here here from red to gray that was also a drop from there to there 20 percent so mostly when that happens is not really positive so let's see how this plays out Again, I am still bullish because the MACD on the bottom, the blue line is on top, it's going sideways, RSI is trying to get up, so let's see if this week will pump the price up again. The Gaussian channel is telling us the same, we should have support on this midline. This, gonna, this candle is going to close in 20 hours. If we close above that midline, 44,500, really positive. If we close down below that one, there is an opportunity we will pull down to 34 again that 30k level let's see to the past the moment we broke these midlines we went to the bottom line we broke the midline we went almost to the bottom line so here we broke the midline we came halfway to the bottom line so if we will break this one and we will come halfway to the midline that's 38k that is one of the support levels so it's definitely a possibility but this is all short, midterm, long term bullish. Let's see if we look at this one. This is on Glassnode, guys. 
I need to check where my face is. Oop, okay, I will put it over there. Oop, okay, let's touch. Um, this is the MVRV Z score. And if you can look at this one, um, I took it from April to now January. This low of the yellow line was the same low we had here in July. And what happened after that low in July? We had a huge run the price. You can see that on the top. The same low we had in March 2020, even lower at that time. We had a run up. That same low we also had here again, September. After that, we ran up. So this low over here, I don't believe we will go lower than this. This was a little bit higher now than that low, previous low there. Lower than this one. So I hope we turn around over there. That is what we see. The NVT signal line, that is this one. Let's see if the phase is okay. Um, also, very low. We are here at 19.2. The last time we were that low, here, this one, that was also again March, and then again July. Every time we reach these low numbers, mostly we turn around the market. Just think how you felt over here. September 26th, we were at the same low. We just had that drop all the way from like 60K to all the way here down to 43K. We thought we were going to die. Lower, lower, lower. We didn't. We bounced up to 67k. And now we fall down again to 41k. Can we bounce up once more? That is the question. I have one more chart for today. I'm keeping it short. This one over here, the trading image, um, created by Plan B. I shared this chart many more times with you guys. Um, and I told you, yes, Plan B is telling us we could end between these two lines over here. The two green lines, one is the stock to flow model and one is the stock to flow FX model. Um, we could come in between over there. If we look at the previous run, the 2012 run, this light bluish, then this dark bluish was the 2016 run that took a little bit longer. These downs are the months after the halving. So the first peak of that first bull run was after 13 months. This one was after 18 months. If this peak again would be later, over here for example, 27 months after the halving, um, that would be the 100k peak, 27 months after the halving would put us somewhere around July 2022. And if we need to believe this peak over here, that's like 40 months after the halving, that's almost like, just calculate, that's like 12 months, that's uh, 3 years, 4 years, it's like three and a half years after halving. That's three years after May 2020. That's May 2020, May 2021, May 2022, May 2023, almost before we reach that peak, ultimate peak. So this is a possibility as well, guys. I know this is like hopium, and hopium means that we hope that the price is going to go up to these levels. But I will stay positive as long as we create higher uh, lows. Oh my God, it's evening. I can feel becoming that I'm becoming tired. Yeah. So um, it's 12, 11.30 here now. Um, this was everything for today. I hope you really enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, give the video a thumbs up. Share with your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Let me know um, if you're still bullish. Let me know if you want to go to the bar. <laughs> because you're bearish <laughs> you're gonna drink um, just let me know everything you want in the comments then guys thanks for watching and hopefully see you tomorrow again bam